Oh man. Let's see what's going on down here. Mm. Oh man. Man, that's bad. Oh, let me center up. Look at that. Wow. You guys remember this gun, right? We're shooting our lead shot through there, and it looks really nasty. Guys, take a look down there. You never believe in the amount of mail I got generated over this. Let's see if we can get a shot down inside. Holy cow, look at that. Yeah, it's nasty, all right. Nasty, dirty, but of course, we shot about 50 rounds through it. Let's see. Oh, God, I think we damaged the bore. Oh, man. I'm going to have to replace it. And we'll see what happens. All right, well, there it is. We're about halfway through cleaning it right now. About five minutes into it, so we're getting it pretty clean. I want you guys to take a look. Will the bore be damaged? I don't know. Gonna have to stay tuned to find out. All right, so we've been scrubbing about 10 15 minutes here, and you can see what our bore looks like. Look at that, it is so shiny. You can see the reflection. Look at that on the paper towel below. Holy cow! That is shiny clean. Look at that. See that? Now I got the radio playing in the background, so I'm going to try to talk while I tell you what we did. I like having the radio on when I clean my guns. But look at that. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. That way we don't get into the shadow. There we go. Look at that. Now that is shiny. See that? You always use a white paper towel on the back. See that? To capture any kind of drippings that come out. And then you can reflect your light off of it and look into your bore really easy. See that? Let's see if we can tone it down a little bit. So, there we go. No rings, no parts of the rifling missing, nothing. Of course, you don't want to shoot this with steel shot, just lead shot. And of course, there's going to be a little bit of leading and flakes and little lead dust and stuff that comes out. But you can see there, no problems whatsoever. No damaging on the bore, in the bore, on the bore, outside the bore. And what we did is we used a combination of our Edge Red. Yeah, Edge Red, we made this ourselves. And I'll show you right here a couple of the rags. You see, you can see, this was after I left, I left the Edge Red about five minutes sitting. You can see the little bits of pieces of lead that come out. The longer you let the Edge Red sit, the more it flows underneath the particles of lead and quicker it'll take them out. Use a combination brush, jag, and oh, look at this, copper. Use your chore boy. Chore boys are the best. They attract lead like a magnet. That's why the whole adage where you shoot a couple of cast bullets and you get leading in your bore, and then people shoot a couple of jacketed afterwards, does not hold true. You see that? The copper and the lead, they bond together pretty good. That's why you use copper, chore boy. These are the patches that we use, and you can see Near the end, they started coming out pretty clean. So, myth is busted. Boy, I feel like myth busters today. Shoot all you want, guys, because you know what? You're not going to hurt your gun. You're shooting lead shot, and there is no damage. Look at that beautiful, beautiful. Hope you're getting this. Look at that. Very, very nice. Let's see what we could. It's very beautiful, shiny. Let's see if my finger under there. Oh, yeah, see that? Beautiful. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, send them on our way. You know the routine. Till next time.